What's up you guys, Joe here bringing you a quick tutorial. Uh, I come across this emulator for a TI-84 plus silver edition calculator. Uh, as I don't have my own graphing calculator, you know, why not get an emulator for it on your computer? So I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly. Uh, the, the, the calculator is completely functional, you just have to click for whatever you need. Like I, I, I was doing some quick linear stuff, so I can put in these charts. You know, I can make I can make my equations and stuff like that. You know, you can everything that you can do on a graphing calculator you can do on here. See, uh, I don't know if you can add more applications. I'm not sure, but you know, whatever. So everything is pretty much functional. You know, it's pretty good for being an emulator. Uh, it's really easy to get. We're going to need a couple files, so I'll put the links to these in the description. One of these is the TI-84 ROM. Or, I'm sorry, not the ROM, but the, the operating system that you need for the, the calculator. So, you'll go to this link here. And, um, all you have to do is download this. It says... This OS features math print. Uh, I didn't download this and it runs fine on my computer, so uh, just skip that. If something's not working, then try downloading that. But just download this. It's only like a megabyte. Just save it to your desktop. I already saved it. And then you'll need to go to this link called Wabbit Studio. Uh, and you'll have to download this. This is the actual program. You'll download this. Just save it to your desktop. Again, I already saved it. Once you have saved it, all you need to do is run the program. And I already have it open, so. You'll get this screen here. And you'll want to create a ROM image using open source software. Okay, so select that option. Click next. And then select the type of OS that you downloaded. We downloaded the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator. So click this and next. Then we're going to browse for the OS on our computer. And then all you have to do is select the operating system we downloaded. Click finish. And then we need to save the ROM. So I'm just going to save this as TI-84 Plus Silver Edition ROM. Okay, I don't. I deleted the ROM after. It's not that big of a deal. But once you click save, we have this, and all we need to do is turn it on. And there we go. Look at this. We have our graphing calculator. Um, if you have any questions, I mean, you can ask me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer them or not. But go ahead, give this video a like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. It really helps me out, and I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching.